हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस दिस इज चैप्टर एट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स एंड वी आर स्टडिंग एच टी एम एल एंड इंट्रोडक्शन राइट सो टूडेज टॉपिक्स आर एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट स्ट्रक्चर एंड बेसिक एच टी एम एल टैक्स राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट स्ट्रक्चर कंजिस्ट ऑफ टू थिंग्स वन इज हेड एंड बॉडी दिस हेड एंड बॉडी सेक्शन आर ऑलवेज मैंशन विद इन दी एच टी एम एल टैक्स Every HTML document will start with HTML tag and ends with HTML closing HTML tag. So the general structure will consist of two things. Within these HTML tags, we will have head section and body section, right? So the head section provides the general information about the document. For example, the title defines a title for the page on a web browser title bar, right? And the body section it is the biggest section of the html document right so it will consist of or it contains the text which get displayed on a web page along with other tags and attributes right so the body section will uh, contain the main text or main body of a web page right so this is a basic structure of html it starts with html then head tag then title then title will be given title will close and head will close so this much is a head section then is body within the body section we will define various attributes pictures and tags right then body tag will be closed right and then html will be closed so this is a head section and this is a body section body section will start from the body tag right head section will start from the head tag right and this head section and body section will be kept inside the HTML open and HTML close tag, right? So next is basic HTML tags. HTML is a tag based language, right? It contains various elements, tags, and attributes. So what is tags? First of all, tags are building blocks of a web page. Means to build a web page, we need a tags, right? The tag elements they contain elements which define how information on web page. is formatted or displayed so these tags will define how our web page is going to look right so tag comprises of a text enclosed in a angular brackets right so what is um, how will you recognize that it is a tag it will always be written within these two brackets right all the tags have their own attributes and default values and tags are not case sensitive and also called elements right so you can write tags in a capital letters or small letters right next is types of html elements so we have two types of elements element means tags uh, we have two types of uh, elements one is container elements and second is empty elements so what is container elements the tags that contain both on and off tags or open and closing tags is called container for example you have seen basic structure so html this is a open html tag and this is closing html tag so this is a container head so head is also a container open and close then title title is also have two tags open and close so the tags which is having open and closing tags are called container tags right the next is element the tags that contains only on tags and they do not have the off tags or closing tags are called empty elements right so it is it will only have one tag that will be written in the beginning for example hr tag this tag is used to separate between the blocks of text right it is used as a separator It means it will put a horizontal line then br tag is used for the break while typing in any text editor you press enter to move to the next line in the same way if you want to move to the next line in html you will use the br tag right so this is a empty it will not be having the closing br tag so it is a empty element right so the third and the last topic is attributes of a body tag so you know this is the basic structure of a html html starting tag head then title then you give the title then you close the title first then close the head and then you start the body so this is the body tag and in the body tag we do so many things right but for now i have just written this small text here so to define certain things about body of the web page we can use certain attributes and all these attributes that we are going to study today 
that can be used all together at once so we are going to learn about the bodies this is a body tag body tags attributes right and those attribute will be having values right so let's see what a difference it will bring to our web page the first attribute bg color bg color stands for background color it is used in side the body tag the attributes uh, pay attention here attributes will be used inside the tag right so it is used inside the body tag to change the background color of a web page for example right now the background of this page is white so i want to change it in the web page so i can change it by using the bg color attribute and this attribute is having value red right so let's see how this work now we will come in the body tag and i'll write b g c o l o r color is equal to double quotes and yellow now just pay attention here we have written angular bracket then body tag we've gave one space and then bg color is equal to yellow so yellow is the value all the values of the attributes will be written in this double quotes always right so now i'll press control s now we'll go to the folder and now my uh, web page has come in the form of google chrome and it its name was color i'll click here and you see the web page has turned yellow so if you will not put the double quotes or if you will uh, not write the right spellings of bg color or um, uh, you will not maintain the right amount of space right so these can these are the mistakes that you may commit typing the code right so just pay attention so that you can get the result right next is background attribute right so background attribute is it is used to place some image in the background of the web page right for example how we will write it body background is equal to name of the image right so now let's see how we can do this so now we will see how to have a image in a background right so for that we will come again in the body tag the first attribute is bg color is equal to yellow after this i'll give a space and write back ground is equal to double quotes right and i'll write the name of the image that i'll be using in this double quotes right so let's go to the folder and choose some image i'll go in the downloads i'll copy some image from here for example let's say i copy this image copy come back to the folder it's better to keep so that web page can have the right path right now i will copy the name of this image i'll open my code come here and paste the name right now file extension has to be jpg here so whenever you are writing a name of the image always mention dot jpg at the end so you will write background and name of the image and with extension dot jpg now press control s and come back to the folder where it gets saved the name of the file is color and this image has come here right now in the so now we have got the image in the background now what you need to do you need to the you need to copy the image in your folder copy the name come back to the code in the body tag write background is equal to double quotes and paste the name of the image then with the extension dot jpg press control s in order to save it and then open your web page right that is also saved in your html folder with the same name and uh, the image will be there in, in front of you right 
the next attribute is text text is at attribute it is used to set the color of the text so we can set the color of the text for example i'll go in the body tag and write text is equal to pink right so again it is written in the double quotes next attribute is top margin like like we leave some space on the top and we leave some space on the left side so top for top margin and left for left margin now body top margin is equal to 30 so 30 is number of pixels right in the same way we have left margin so left margin is 20 so 20 is again number of pixels right so let's see how these three attribute works with body tag now come back to the code now my next attribute would be text let's give it a double quotes red color now the top margin top margin is equal to let's give it a value 80 right now next attribute is left margin is equal to double quotes in the double quotes let's write 60 let's write 60 now I'll press ctrl s right all the attribute has been written inside the body tag this is the closing this is the bracket of the body tag and everything has to be written inside the body tag and there should be space between the two attributes and their values right so I'll press ctrl s now I'll come back to the I'll come back to the folder where I've saved it I'll click it now you see the text color has changed to the red color and we have got some top margin and left margin right so I hope you are clear with this now try out all these attributes of the body tag they are very easy and uh, you will enjoy practicing this right so if you face any difficulty just ask me in the comment section i'll clarify your doubts okay so take care goodbye and god bless you